how to install fonts in Mac. If you are using MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac or Mac Mini, the steps are going to be same for all these Mac machines. Now installation process uh, is actually very easy. First of all, you need to open any particular browser. In my case, I'm going to open Safari. You need to go on Google and you need to search for fonts for Mac. Once you do that, you will get multiple websites uh, which will showcase different kinds of fonts. Now, what is fonts? Basically, if you go in pages, uh, now currently you can see uh, I have written some text over here and if you want to change the font, there are already pre-installed fonts in the Mac system. So you can just select the text and over here in the font, you can just simply, you know, change the font type. So let's say if I select impact, you can see the letter styling has been changed. Now it has gone to bold, right? Even after that, if I select this font, you can see each font has different text style. So you can use uh, either the, you know, inbuilt fonts which are already there or else you can install it. So back to the process. Once you search for fonts for Mac, you can select any particular website and but each and every website will showcase different kinds of font. Now there are multiple fonts over here on this website, right? So uh, if you open this Warsaw Gothic in that it will showcase different kinds of font. Like it has regular style. It has 3D style. Huh? There are different kinds of style over there in that particular font. So you can just simply go. If you want to download this particular font, you have a download option over here. You can select download font and download process will be started over here. You can see that. Right. And once the download is complete, you can just simply select this option. You can check out. Yes, the download is complete and you can check that option in Finder. You can go in downloads and this is the font which we have downloaded. And as I told you, it has multiple style. If you open this folder, you can check out all the available styles for that particular font. Now, if you want to install font after downloading it, either you can go in that particular folder and you can double click on the font and it will give you a pop up. Now, by default, you can see at the background. Uh, font book has opened. We'll come to that later. Now, when you double click, you get this option. So you can uh, select if there are different styles available over here. You can select the styles and then you can simply uh, select install option to install that particular font. But as I said, if you want to uh, install the complete folder, you can just go back. You need to open font book now. So you can find that option in launch pad over here. So let me minimize all this. Over here, you can open Launchpad. You can find that option in Doc or else you can press Command plus Spacebar. Look for Launchpad. Once you open Launchpad in the search bar, you can look for Font Book. So this is Font Book. You can open it. So this is how the current uh, interface for Font Book looks like. If you are using uh, Mac OS version before uh, Mac Ventura, then uh, the interface will be different. But the functionality is same. From Mac OS Ventura, the interface has been changed. So now these are the all fonts which are already installed in my Mac and under my fonts, if you select that, uh, it will showcase all the fonts which you have installed. In your case, if you haven't installed any font, there, be, uh, there will be nothing over on this page. It will be blank. Now, in order to install the new font, you can just simply go on my font, right click, and then you can select add fonts to my fonts. So once you select that here, Warsaw Gothic font is there. So you can select the folder if you want to install all the font at once. And then you can simply select open option. Now you can see it is validating the fonts. And once you install the font, this is how it will look like. So you can toggle between different types of font which, uh, which, which are present in this Warsaw Gothic, right? So yeah, now we have successfully installed the font. Now where can we use it? If you are using pages application, you can just simply open pages. You can create new document. And as I said earlier, you can just simply select the text and you can change the font type from here. Now, in some cases, uh, the recently installed font will not be immediately visible over here. Uh, in that case, if it is not visible, you can just restart the application and then you can check out that it is showing here or not. Even after restarting the application, if the new font is not visible, you can restart your Mac machine and then you can open pages application and it will be visible. So we installed uh, Warsaw, right? So we'll look for it. Warsaw Gothic is not, uh, you know, visible for now. So we'll restart the application. So we'll go back to pages, create new document. So we have uh, pasted the selected text and now we'll check if the font is visible or not. You can see the font is still not visible. So what we will do is 
we will restart the uh, complete system i'm going to restart my mac and then i'm going to show you if that uh, font is visible here or not and this is the common problem uh, you just need to restart your system so that uh, you will be able to see that installed uh, font over there so let's restart it so now as you can see i have restarted my mac and now let's check if the font is visible or not so i'm going to open pages once again we'll select new document blank and then create now we'll enter the text once again we'll increase the size and earlier it was not visible so we are going to select this font option if we go down now you can see warsaw gothic is present over here so we have selected you can see it is showing the style so over here you can just simply select all the other styles which were available in warsaw gothic so this is how simple it is uh, to install font in your mac now if you go back to safari or any particular browser let's go to google once again and let's search for fonts for mac and let's go back to the same web, uh, website so these are few uh, you know fonts which i have already installed which is croissant sandwich uh, falling sky if if i go back to pages you can see croissant sandwich is there falling sky is there so i have already installed uh, that particular font if i go to font book let's go to launchpad let's look for font book here also you can check out in my fonts falling sky uh, croissant sandwich i have already installed that particular font so this is uh, how the whole process is this is how you can just simply install your fonts and you can start using it so yeah that's pretty much uh, it for today's video guys if you find this video informative don't forget to subscribe i'll see you all in the next one thank you